Amin. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. Ahabatu fillah in relation to the last sitting that we had with regards to basic fiqh and we talked about uh, one of the issues that came up was the wet dream. So in effort to correct what was said or to clarify what was said we'll mention the hadith of Umm uh, Salama radiallahu ta'ala anha which clarifies for us that when a person has a wet dream that means they actually see uh, the moisture and, and they're, that they should make ghusl and there are some details regarding this issue that's why we'll go through the hadith and benefit from what the uh, the ulama of Ahl Sunnah what they've mentioned An Ummi Salamata radiyallahu ta'ala anha Zawja Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qalat Ja'at Ummu Sulaym imra'ata Abi Talha ila Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam faqalat Ya Rasulullah inna Allah la yastahi min al-haq fahal ala al-mar'ati min ghusli idhiya talamat فقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم نعم إذا رأت الماء. This is in Bukhari and Muslim. In the hadith of Umm Salama رضي الله تعالى عنها, the wife of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, she said that Umm Sulaym she came and she is the wife of uh, Abi Talha رضي الله تعالى عنهم. Uh, he came, she came. Uh, to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She said, O Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, verily Allah is not shy regarding the truth. Uh, is it an obligation upon a woman to make ghusl if she has a wet dream? So here's the mas'ala right here. Well, alhamdulillah. Very clear. We have a nas. Very clear. Even we don't really need to go further, but we're going to mention some nice details from the ulama. Uh, so, does a woman need to make ghusl either if she has a, uh, a, uh, a wet dream or if she has uh, perhaps you could say even a sexual dream? But we'll translate it. Ihtilam, wa hum. Yani, this has to do with the uh, a dream, uh, a dream in general. Okay, and, and, and what's meant here is, is seeing in that dream a, a sexual dream. So, she said, uh, Verily Allah does not, is not shy from the truth. Does a woman have to make ghusl if she has this wet dream? The Prophet ﷺ said, Naam, yes, idharatil ma. If she sees, uh, 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 you know, uh, fluid. So, this lets us know, Habatifillah, that seeing fluid is the ibra or is the the point so if there is fluid let's see what the ulama say so we don't really need to uh, go too far out uh, with regards to this so the mas'ala comes up then لو رأى رجل أو مرأة بللا أو بللا ولم يذكر اختلاما فإن كانت أوصاف المني موجودة فيه لازمه so there's no difference of opinion with regards to if a man or a woman they uh, they have uh, this dream and the the attributes of this or uh, or they don't mention that they had a uh, uh, they didn't uh, mention that they saw something in their dream something sexual but they woke up and there was moisture that was that resembled. Uh, uh, sperm, or 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 the, what, what the the what we produce when we have an orgasm. For men, it's sperm. For women, it's their their fluid. So if we have this fluid that resembles, then there's no difference of opinion from the ulama that the person must make ghusl. Fanian, the second uh, issue with regard to that. Either ra'a rajul o mar'a ihtilaman wa lam yara balalan fala ghusl alayh. So we'll just leave there and we don't need to mention all the ahla ilm who hold this view. But the second issue is if a man or a woman, they have this dream. So that means they, they dreamt and it was something sexual. 
but they didn't see anything moist. You know, they didn't see any uh, water that they had a very sexual dream, whatever the case may be. In this situation, that there's no, they don't have to make a ghusl. And this is uh, many of uh, uh, Imam Tirmidhi and most of uh, the scholars, uh, most of Ahl al-Ilm have this view. And Ibn Mandar said it was uh, ijma, said it was by consensus. The third uh, case scenario, Ahabitifillah, إِذَا اَحْتَنَمَ وَرَاءَ الْمَاءَ فَهَذَا عَلَيْهِ غُسُلْ بِنَسْ هَذَا hadith. So if a person, of course, uh, that they, if they have uh, this wet dream, and it's actually, uh, so, so it's sexual in nature, and they see moisture, then there's no difference of opinion that they should, uh, they should make ghusl. And Imam Ibn Abdul Barr, rahimahullah ta'ala, he mentioned, he said there's ijma ulama on this, this issue. Those are some of the issues with regards to that. And we ask Allah the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect was for myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.